Okay. So Unahin natin yung tungkol sa lamps, no? So lamps are devices that transforms electrical energy into visible radiant energy or light, no? So according to the Philippine Electrical Code, so may dalawang klase ng lamp, no? So we have the incandescent lamp or anti electric discharge lamp, no? So ang incandescent lamp our lamps have a filament that glows white hot while yung uh, yung sa electrical discharge lamp naman are uh, classified no? yung uh, yung lamps that produce light without a filament no walang filament so they are classified as electric discharge lamps so example of that is the fluorescent the and the HID lamps or the high intensity discharge lamps so an incandescent lamp so the the most common filament of an incandescent lamp is tungsten no when tungsten uh, becomes white hot or incandescent so that is the that is the process of heating the tungsten so yan yung tawag ng incandescent at doon nagagaling yung ano yung pangalan ng lamp no incandescent lamp so it gives gives off light and heat so dalawa yan no the the process of um, incandescent uh, gives off two outputs, no? light at heat. Then, fluorescent lamp. So, fluorescent lighting was developed during the 1930s. No? It, uh, its principle is simple enough, but it took years of research before it became the highly developed tube found in modern lighting fixtures. So, the, pro the fluorescent lamp is an electronic device. No? It functions through conduction in a gas. No? The lamp consists of a long straight or circular tube containing a drop of mercury and a small amount of argon gas with electrodes sealed into each end. No? So yung yung uh, reason kaya nag-glow yung ating ano yung ating tube, yung ating fluorescent tube is dahil sa mercury, no? Mercury tapos yung argon gas ay yung nagpapa ano sa kanya para hindi natin maano maabsorb yung electro violet light na uh, product ng paghihit natin sa uh, mercury no okay so the parts of a fluorescent lamp so first yung pinaka common natin nakikita is yung glass tube no provides an airtight enclosure when you say airtight walang papasok na uh, na hangin no so meaning the the tube itself is a vacuum no in which the mercury gas the mercury gas and the phosphor can function. No basis. So the base of a uh, of a uh, fluorescent lamp is uh, found at the ends of the tube. No, so it connect the lamp to the electrical circuit. No, several pin configuration are available. No, cathodes. So cathodes are small oxide coated filaments which heat up and emit electrons into the tube. No. So we have two types of cathodes. So ang una is uh, the hot cathode which are constructed of coated tungsten filaments worn into a coil form. Hot cathode starting is called preheat or rapid start starting. While cold cathode are made of iron shaped in a thimble like form to give a large emitting area. So cold cathodes require higher voltage drop across the lamp for the production of the emission. So, yung pinakaiba na, yung cold cathodes require a higher voltage drop. So, mas higher yung kailangang kunin ng ating cathode in order for us, uh, in order for that cathode to create, to, para makagawa ng uh, lighting emission. No? Habang yung, ano naman, yung sa hot cathode, so, it is uh, the, uh, because the, the, the end of the hot cathode is made up of a tungsten filament, no, oil in the core form. So, mas madali siyang uh, i-heat up. No? Therefore, Ang pinaka-common talaga yung nagamit na cathode sa ating fluorescent lamp is the hot cathodes. No? Okay, mercury. So, droplets of mercury are placed into the tube. They vaporize during the operation of the lamp and, em and emit or give off ultraviolet energy. So, to sinabi ko kanina, yung nilalabas ng ating mercury is ultraviolet light, no? which is also harmful to our skin, no? It can cause cancer. So we have filling gas, a small amount of highly purified argon gas. So yung filling gas natin, that, that is a purified argon gas. So this gas 
ionizes then the uh, producing of electrical conductivity in gases so yun sabihin ng ionizes when sufficient voltage is applied so this allows current to flow readily through the tube no kasi yung tube natin is a, a vacuum so nakalagay diyan is only the mercury droplets and the argon gas and also the the post for coating so yung yung argon gas ang nagbibigay ng uh, electrical con conductivity between the ends of our cathode no kasi sa, sa present na meron tayong dalawang cathode no the hot and uh, the uh, meron tayong dalawang cathode at both ends of our fluorescent lamp no for our fluorescent tube in order for that para magkaroon tayo ng ano magkaroon tayo ng electrical conductivity so ang nilalagyan ng argon gas yan because argon gas has high, higher electrical conductivity no compared to any gases no then post for coating all all of the light energy produced by the mercury is ultraviolet and invisible to the naked eye so the post for coating reacts to the ultraviolet rays and turns this into in, uh, into visible light no including also um uh, making that ultraviolet ray not harmful to us kasi convert na siya into visible light starter no the capacitor in the starter controls the amount of arcing between contacts when they open and close so yung starter natin so it controls the uh, the amount no of arcing na nangyayari sa contacts no so uh, the starter is connected in series no naka series yan sa ating uh, tube then the ballast so the ballast controls and re and regulates the current flowing in much the same way that uh, ballast in a ship controls the stability of the vessel. So yung ballast kina control niya yung ating current, no? The ballast is a coil of wire wound on a on a laminated steel core. The voltage rating of the ballast is 230 volts at 5 amperes. So the maximum voltage na kaya ng ating ballast before it um bago siya masira no before it ka, it will be destroyed is 600 volts Okay, so the lamp holder so is used to keep the lamp in place. So the lamp holder design varies to suit the requirement of the base of the fluorescent lamp. So yung design ng ating lamp holder depends on the base of the fluorescent lamp. Okay, so types of fluorescent lamp starting. So dalawa yan. So preheat no? or switch starting with starters or manual starting. So if a fluorescent lamp cathodes are preheated before the lamp is started, so uh, they have a uh, we could use a uh, ballast na hindi siya masyadong ano masyadong uh, masyadong mahal when uh, when we were going to install uh, yung mga ganong klase na mga present lamp so such preheating is readily accomplished by means of manual switches so use in desk lamps and portable lamps or by automatic starters which with the fixtures and are controlled from a wall switch no so yung preheat so kadalasan yung main characteristics niyan is when you turn on the fluorescent lamp yan yung nag 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 flicker pa no that is the the conventional no conventional or the most common fluorescent lamp no the preheat na fluorescent lamp while the rapid start so the rapid start uh, type no does not need a separate starting device so the ballast of a rapid start is called an electronic ballast it has no starter and will not flicker. So, yan yung rapid start fluorescent lamp. Next, we will have CFL, no? the compact fluorescent lamp. So, the a CFL is basically a rapid start fluorescent lamp which is designed to mimic a bulb no? or to mimic an incandescent bulb. So, also called as a uh, compact fluorescent light. Uh, energy saving light and compact fluorescent tube so it is a fluorescent lamp designed to replace an incandescent lamp so sometimes fit into light fixtures normally used for incandescent lamps so the the CFL is just a rapid start fluorescent lamp na ginawa para uh, magfit doon no sa uh, fixtures or lamp holder na kung saan 
uh, kadalasan nating nilalagay yung mga incandescent lamp. Okay, so bakit ginagawa natin yan? Because the, 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 the CFL is much more energy saving compared to the incandescent lamp. So the lamp use a tube which is curved or folded to fit the space uh, of an incandescent bulb and a compact electronic ballast which is found at the base of the lamp. So the lamp are, are preheat type or but the starter so this is not preheat but a uh, rapid type no this is rapid type bahin natin to it naka preheat to so the lamp is rapid type okay but the starter is located no so yung starter niya naka ano na siya naka kasama na siya sa ating balas kaya tinatawag siyang electronic balas Okay, so CFL has two main components. So the gas filled tube, so yung naka-curved na tube either spiral or U. So yan yung kadalasang ano, uh, kadalasang design ng tube ng ating CFL, spiral or um, naka-U, no? So kaya ang, ang ibang tawag sa sa CFL is the U bulb, no? Or the spiral bulb. Electronic ballast contains a small circuit board with rectifiers, a filter capacitor. So yan yung ating starter and usually two switching transistor so the lifespan of a cfl ranges from 8 to 15 times that of an incandescent lamp so that the typical rated lifespan is 6000 to 15000 hours no meanwhile sa atin namang incandescent is uh, 750 to 1000 hours so ibig sabihin nito kunyari if we are going to light up our uh, our CFL no straight no so uh, nagbo burn out siya o nasisira siya after 6000 or 15000 hours straight siya na ano ilaw so if sa incandescent naman is only up to 750 hours or 1000 hours so that is uh, this lifespan is acu accumulative so naib sabihin noon kunyari bagong bili yung CFL mo no Tapos bagong bili. Tapos uh, straight from the factory, no, pagkabili mo, that is the only time na napailaw siya. No? Uh, aside from the testing na doon sa factory. So, for example, sa araw, araw na ito, napa, uh, napailaw mo yun ng 8 hours. So, that 8 hours will be deducted now to its lifespan. No? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng lifespan of, lifespan of, an, of a bulb or a lamp. So, HID lamp. So, HID lamp, also known as high intensity discharge lamp, is a type of electrical lamp which produces light by means of an electric arc between tungsten electrodes housed inside a translucent or transparent fused quartz or fused alumina arc tube. So, basically, a high in in intensity discharge lamp. It, uh, ang ginagawa niya sa ano, tungsten natin is uh, aside from making our uh, tungsten uh, white hat, ang ginagawa niya is also it create an arc no? so para mas ma, ano, mas, ma, mas intense yung ating light na na, 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 na produce uh, sa ating uh, tube or sa ating lamp. Okay. So samples or types of uh, HID lamps. So we have metal halide lamps. So they are uh, growing in popularity. Uh, so especially if uh, we are uh, we we want to have our lights na mas ano mas pataas yung kanyang ilaw. So usually we will use the metal halide lamp. No, it uh, it is often shaped like an incandescent lamp. Although mas mataas yung kanyang uh, wattage no usually 400 to 600 watts no may iba nga 800 watts no okay then we have high pressure sodium lamp or hps so these were invented on uh, 1960s as a translucent high temperature uh, ceramic became available so it is a lamp that is much more energy efficient than mercury vapor lamps but the light color is a yellow or orange then uh, it is also the, this color is much more different than the common mercury blue now if ang 
kadalasang purpose ng HID lab is only for um, warehouse or auditorium lighting no yung sa medyo malaking hall na lighting kasi yung kanyang uh, binibigay na light aside from it it uh, it is um uh, it uh, it is color yellow or orange no kasi kadalasan kasi yung yellow or orange those are just used for accent light no yung light na medyo iba yung kulay but if we are going to consider a light as a part of our lighting source para para talaga um ilawan yung isang lugar so we will uh, 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 we will choose no the uh, white blue or the the color na iniimit ng mercury na uh, na gas na lamp no katulad nung sa sa fluorescent so the the light of a a fluorescent is a white blue no so katulad din ng uh, vapor uh, mercury vapor lamp so it is a white blue so mercury vapor lamp was first invented or developed in 1930s then they represented new type of lamp that was more efficient and last longer than incandescent lamp so they were ideal for street lighting and factory lighting no if you are if you want to cover a much larger area using only a single bulb so ito yung ginagamit mercury vapor lamp so low pressure sodium lamp so lps are made more closely related to fluorescent than high intensity discharge lamp since they have a low pressure low intensity discharge source and a linear lamp shape so um ang kanyang design is katulad ng ano na sa style sa sa fluorescent lamp but the shape is like a a bulb also no yung bulb na malaki then the only different from the high pressure so job life aside from it it uses a low pressure is uh, yung ano niya yung kulay niya is also yellow and orange so the only difference is yung kanyang low pressure low intensity discharge no so next we have the most common today na lamp is the lead lamp no lead so lead stands for light emitting diode so it is a product which is assembled into a lamp or light bulb for use in lighting fixtures no so yung sa loob ng ating lead lamp are hundreds or sometimes thousands nakadepende so, no? sa sa shape at sa laki ng bulb no na lead no so ang isang led depending on the color usually yung color natin sa ating led lamp is uh, the uh, bluish white or the white blue so it is 1.2 volts no or 1 or 2 1.2 volts yung kanyang bawat isa niyan no then the led itself the light emitting diode only uh, operates at dc no? dc current no or dc source so kaya yung ating led no meron din yang ano yung lalo na yung led na na pwede ilagay as a replacement of a normal incandescent lamp no so meron yang adapter sa loob no para yung ating led na DC ang kanyang supply pwede siyang mag-operate at AC no AC supply so led lamp have a different lifespan and electrical efficiency no which are several times longer than the incandescent and significantly more efficient than fluorescent lamp with some chips able to emit more than 3,000 lumens per watt. So, ito yung kayang i ilabas na luminance ng ating lead lamp. No? 3,000 lumens per watt. No? Okay? So, speaking of luminance, so we have here luminance. No? Okay. So, luminance, so symbol lumen, So it is the uh, derived unit of luminous flux, no? A measure of total quality of visible light emitted by a source. So yung ano yung quality ng uh, ilaw or light na ating nakikita. So that is the unit, no? Unit that is lumen. Habang yung luminous flux is weighted according to the model of the human eyes sensitivity to various wavelength, no? So kadalasan yung yung sinasabi nating ano uh, Ma, uh, yung ang yung sasabi nating maliwanag is yung talagang white or bluish white light so that is the the standard for the luminous flux no so ang ang unit ng luminous flux is lumen 
Okay, so we have the law of illumination. So the law of illumination, no? So the illumination is directly proportional to the luminous intensity of the light source. The illumination varies inversely as the square of the distance from the source of the light. Then the illumination varies directly as the cosine of the angle between the normal to the surface and the direction of the incident light. No? So ito we could express this whole uh, this whole law, this itong tatlong law to into a simple mathematical equation. No? So, nakapin ko lang dito sa inyong mathematical equation. Okay. Ito pala. Baba. Okay. So, ito. So, ito yung tatlong mathematical equation. So, this is the uh, the luminous flux, no? Our I. So, ito yung ating ano, lumens over 4 pi. No? So, yung ating I is the candle power or the, 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 the candela or the brightness that is emitted by our lamp. Yung EP natin is the intensity of illumination. Yung mismo nakikita natin na liwanag in, in which the units is could be foot candle or lux. Tapos, yung ating D squared is the distance, no? the direct distance of our lamp from our eyes or from the point of interest no so the angle is the this angle the angle between the the distance and the normal to normal yung h no the normal distance the distance of the light perpendicular to the surface no so it, ito yung ano yung mathematical equivalent ng law of illumination okay balik tayo sa mga Limited definition of terms. Okay. So, first we have light. So, of course, we know what is the definition of light. So, that is the radiated uh, energy you know, in the form of luminous flux that produces a sensation to the eyes. Brightness is the intensity of visual sensation which is associate, associated with the spectral distribution of light. Yung color naman, so defined as the quantity of visual sensation which is associated by the spectral distribution of light also. Then we have glare. So a glare is a strong, steady, dazzling light. So yung ano, yung naka, yung nakakasilaw yun. As well as yun ibig sabihin ng glare. And then the candle power is the light radiating capability of the light source. So the unit for that is candela or the or candle, no? So yung candle power yan yung ability of our light source to emit light, no? So the higher the candle power of our no, of our light so the the better no kasi uh, we will require only lesser energy uh, input to give up a higher energy output or a higher light energy output then we have coefficient of utilization so that is the ratio of lumens received no the 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 uh, the illumination rece uh, received no over the lumens emitted no so this is the uh, this coefficient of utilization is dependent on the type of lighting and the color of the room syempre if yung, yung dark yung room mo so talagang ano talagang uh, talagang uh, mag ano yan magkakaroon niya ng effect if gaano ka efficient yung light na ini give off ng yung bulb no or yung lamp depreciation factor so the factor related to cleanliness of the lamp including the room replacement of lamp after recommended life etc no so illumination when everything is new then illumination actual in actual condition so kunyari yung bahay is bagong pintura bago yung ilaw so therefore mas maano yon mas maliwanag yung buong area na yon compared after few months or few years na meron ng kunting mga agyo sa kisame yung bulb natin is nakakaroon na ng ano dark spots no sa ka, sa kanyang bulb so it will affect the illumination itself ang tawag doon is depreciation factor then we have efficacy so efficacy is the ratio of the luminous output to the input power in watts then foot candle so a unit of illumination when foot is taken as the unit of length so this is the english uh, the English 
unit for elimination. Habang SI naman, so the unit of elimination in meter is taken as the unit of length. So that is lux, no? So lumens per square meter is lux. Lumens per square feet, that is foot candle. One foot candle is equals to 10.76 lux. Okay, so yan, tapos na yung formula. Okay, so ito. So if our illumination is in foot candle, our candle power is candela. Our distance should be in foot. If yung ano natin is lux yung ating illumination, the candela must be, the candle power is still candela, habang yung distance natin must be in meter. So meron tayong isang unit ng illumination which is foot, no? P-H-O-T. From the word photon, no, which is the proposed or the, ah, uh, the proposed, yung ano, yung ah, uh, tawag nating um the, ah, uh, the particle that I, that made up light, so tawag is photon, no. So the can, candle power, the unit is still in candela, habang yung distance niya is in centimeter. Okay. So average efficacy of various types of lamps. So we know that efficacy is the lumens per watt, no? Baik kita tindak sa ting mga ano. So lumens output, no? Over wattage consumed, so that is lumens per watt. So for fluorescent lamp, that is 50 to 80. Ah, incandescent lamp is 14 to 20, no? Mercury, 14 to 70. Metal halide, 60 to 80. Sodium lamp, 90 to 100. Habang yung tungsten halogen is 16 to 20. And we know that for lead no so lead the 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 some of the ma manufacturers for lead lamp will uh, claim na 300 no 300 lumen per watt ang kanilang kayang uh, i-give or i-emit ng kanilang uh, lead lamp but the usual is 110 to 200 no 110 to 200 lumen per watt ang kaya niyang i-give up no okay so we have here an example. A floodlight emitting 25,000 candelas in the center of its beam is aimed at 60 degrees to a point on the ground 20 meters away. No? The illumination of the point in lux is blank. No? So, ano yung kanyang il illumination uh, ng ating uh, floodlight which is 20 meters away from our uh, point of interest or sabihin natin from, from the person, no? Okay? So, let's have this one as for the solution. Okay? Solution. Okay? So, the the elimination at a point, no? Balikan natin yung formula natin. Ayan. So, ito. So, that is the intensity of elimination at point P or, or point of interest. So, that is I over D squared cosine theta. Yung I natin, that is our counter power. Hab habang yung theta natin is the degrees, no? So, yung D, so ito yung D natin, distance. So, the uh, how the meters away yung layo ng ating uh, yung, yung, yung layo ng ating bulb, no? From a point 20 meters away, no? So, yan yung ating gagamitin, no? So, we have formula I over D squared cosine theta, no? So, yung I natin is 25,000 candela Yung D natin is 20, habang yung ating theta is equal to 60 degrees, no? So, you just substitute that one. So, I, so that is 25,000, no? So, our I is 25,000 over yung D natin is 20 meters, so 20 squared cosine 60. So, ito lang yung i-input nyo sa inyong calc no? So, we have uh, 25,000 
over 20 squared no? so this will be equal to 62.5 no? so our EP is 62.5 lux no? so the uh, the intensity of illumination is 62.5 lux so kaya lux yung nagamit natin eh, of course it is required on the problem pero yung ginagamit naman natin na distance no? uh, the unit for D is meters no? so ito lux could have the two one at 62.5 candela per uh, candela per square meter no? okay next calculate the illumination in foot candle for a 100 lamp a 100 watt lead lamp at a point three meters below and four meters away from the source so the away this one is um the the lamp no kung ating isasulat yung ano ng lamp kanyang equivalent na ano diagram or the equivalent sketch no so ito yung light source natin so vertically 3 meters yan horizontally no from this point away from this point this is also 4 meters no so ito na yung magiging point P natin ito yung ating D so yung ating lead lamp 100 watt yan no 100 watt so kukunin natin yung intensity of illumination no so alam natin na yung na yung na yung formula for that one no the formula for that one is i d squared cosine theta no so ang theta natin is dito no that is the the angle of the uh, the distance d adjacent to the vertical ah, the normal no the normal distance no okay so ang tanong is meron ba tayong d so we could get d using Pythagorean theorem so d is equal to square root of 3 squared kasi ito right triangle to eh no 3 squared plus 4 squared so we have square root of uh, 9 no 3 squared plus 4 squared that is 16 so, we'll have square root of 25. So, yung D natin, square root of 25, that is 5. No? Habang yung I naman, so, I natin, we know that our I is equal to this one, no? yung ating lumens over 4 pi. So, paano natin kukunin yung ating lumens? No? So, we know that for lead lamp, okay, for lead so, doon na tayo sa maximum no lead. The, the efficacy of lead is equal to maximum natin, no? 200 lumens or LM, no? Lumens per watt, no? So, para makuha natin yung lumens, so, kailangan natin gamitin yung efficacy. So, the total lumens, ito, the total lumens is equal to the efficacy Okay, times the wattage, no? rated wattage ng ating bulb. So, we have 200 lumens per watt times 100 watt kasi yan yung wattage ng ating bulb. No? So, we have... Okay, so we have 200 times 100. Okay, so meron tayong meron tayong 20 at no, 20,000, no? 20,000. So yung ating ano lumens natin is 20,000 lumens, no? So, gamitin natin tong formula to to get our total lumens here, no? Or that is what we call as our candle power, no? So, we have here, I is equal to 
uh, the total lumens over 4 pi. So this is 20,000 lumens over 4 pi. Okay. Okay, so we have 20,000 divide 4 pi. No? So 1,591.5. No? 1,591.5. So this is the unit for this one is candle. No? So we can use our formula. So EP is equal to 15,000 1591.5 over our D is 5 no 5 squared so cosine theta so yung cosine theta lang yung hahanapin natin no so going back to the figure sana ba yon yan so yung cosine theta natin that is going sa kapa sa ating trigonometry no so Cosine theta, lagay, cosine theta, that is opposite side over the ano, adjacent, adjacent side. Okay, so, muna to. Okay. so this is adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So itong D natin yung ating hypotenuse kasi yan yung pinakama, pinakamahabang side ng ating right triangle. Yung adjacent naman is yung side na nasa tabi ng ating angle. So, dito, 3 yan, no? Nasa tabi. No? So, our cosine theta is equal to 3 meters over 5. So, kaya sa ating formula, so, ito, gagawin natin yung three over 5, no? Okay. Bakit nawala yung calcio ko? So, so. Okay, so we have uh, 1,591.5 1, over 5 squared, no? Kasi d squared yan times cosine theta which is 3 over 5 okay. so we have 38.2 no? 38.2 so ito candela over square meter so this will be in lux pero yung requirement ng problem going back to the statement of the problem is in foot candle no? so i-convert natin tong ating answer na naka lux into foot candle. So, alam natin na yung ating 1 foot candle, no? 1 foot candle, 1 FC is equal to 10.76 lux, no? Okay. So, yun lang yung gamitin natin. So, we have 10 times hindi pa 10, 38.9 38.9 times 1 to 1 over 10.76 okay and we have 3.62 no so meron tayong 3.62 foot candle so ito na yung ating answer so 3.62 foot candle Okay, next so, Dito tayo sa mga type of light na naiimit ng ating uh, ng ating uh, light, no? O ng ating lamp sa so, mga types of light.
Okay. So we have Daylight White. No? So this is for Graphic Studios, for Winter Good Shop, or for years, and Seasonal uh, Affective Disorder. No? Cool White naman. No? So for offices, hospitals, and manufacturing. Mid-range. So that is the usual na ginagamit natin. So retail store, supermarket, and showrooms. No? So yung warm white natin, so ito yung talagang uh, ini-emit ng, at, ng ating ano, ng ating mga fluorescent lamp, the CFL, no? uh, sometimes yung sa mga lead lamp natin, depending on the type of lead. So yan yung ginagamit sa residential lighting, restaurants, and hotel lobbies. Yung extra warm, so that is for display, no display counters, or para sa ano uh, uh, sa accent light, no. So then it is usually not used for general lighting, kasi ito kadalasan medyo dim yung light nito. So the the output, no, the output light is uh, medyo mahina yun siya or medyo dim, but the output heat is medyo mataas so if this, if this will be used for rooms no hotel rooms or residential lighting so yung mismong uh, yung mismong space is um, medyo uh, madadadagan yung init niya no kaya uh, it, this is usually used for um meat displays no so to give accent to the meat or to the products city beautification no uh, we could also use extra warm or kaya ngayon uh, ginagamit natin yung incandescent for accent lighting sa ating mga bahay. No? It is to enhance the corners or sa ating kisame to enhance the design of our uh, ceiling. No? Okay, then we now go to switches. No? So switches by definition is any electrical component that cuts, interrupts, or divert the flow of current in an electric circuit. So, in building wiring, a switch also known as light switch is commonly used to connect lights, electrical equipment, or electrical outlet. So, switches are normally wall-mounted but some are built in in the equipment. Okay? So, types of switches according to operation. So, meron tayong tatlo. So, the first one is a hand switch. No? Hand switch. These are switches which are operated by our hands, so they require uh, no further further output, no only the output or, or only the output ka done by, uh, by our hand, no sa ano lang natin sa kamay. So they are the most common type of switches and are usually used in residential and commercial wiring, no. So yung ating light switch, so that is a that is a example of a hand switch. Limit switches, so these switches are operated by machine motion. So, they are usually used in automation and control application. While process switch, so these are triggered by some changes in the physical process such as temperature, uh, level, flow, illumination, and others. So, like limit switch, they are used for automation and control, especially on industrial plants. So, example of process switch, the most common is the float switch, no? yung float switch natin. Okay, so types of hand switches. Now we have first the toggle switch. No, this type of uh, this type of hand switch is operated by a lever angled in two or more positions. So common switch. These are the common switches used for lighting. Uh, this the toggle switch. No, so ang pinaka example natin na uh, ano na type of itago switch is the breaker. So a breaker itself is a switch. Although yung breaker meron siyang ano meron siyang um, tripping mechanism no? natitrip siya when, when there is a short circuit or an overload but the operation itself is by using a lever type no? or lever angled no? uh, two or more uh, position on off or trip so an example of toggle switch is our breaker push button so the push button is a two position device operated with a button that is pressed and released no then most push button switches have internal spring mechanism returning the button to its out or unpressed position for moment operation so kapag uh, yung yung push button after pushing that one when we release it babalik siya sa kanyang 
normal position. Meron ding iba na meron siyang magnetic sa loob niya na kapag ating penis o meron siyang ano latching nun sa kanyang ano kapag ating penis hindi na siya magbabalik. But but when we press again, so babalik siya sa kanyang normal position. No, that is depending on the type of the push button switch. Selector switch, no? So are actuated with a rotary knob or lever or some sort to select one or two or more preset positions. When we see preset positions, nakaset na yung positions niya, no? Now, like toggle switch, selector switch can either rest in any of their positions or contain a spring return mechanism for momentary operation. The most common type of or the most common use of uh, of a selector switch is the selector switch on your multi-tester or your VOM. No? So, yan yung ano, yan yung pinaka common ngayon na ano, gamit ng selector switch. Dimmer switch, so it is the same with uh, se with selector switch only that it has no preset, no preset function or preset settings. So, uh, it is sometimes called as dimmer control because it is usually used to control the amount of brightness or change the brightness na ano na binibigay ng ating lamp by changing the the series resistance on our lamp. No, so the most common type of uh, of selector switch is the the rheostat or the potentiometer. So sa Ano, appliances then yung volume control ng ating mga radio so those is uh, that is a type of a dimmer switch joystick switch so a joystick is actuated by a lever free to move in more than one axis of motion so one or more several switch contact mechanism are actuated depending on which way the lever is pushed and sometimes by how far it it is pushed and a circle that notation on the switch uh, symbol represents the direction of the joystick lever motion required to actuate the contact uh, joystick hand switches are commonly used for crane no crane operations ito pala capital yan okay so yun sa crane operation but the most common na uh, kita natin yung joy, joy, joystick switch is the uh, the uh, the change gear no of our car no sa ating ano, sasakyan. Yan yung joystick, uh, joystick uh, switch natin. Rocker switch. So, it is the same with the toggle switch. No? All, uh, yung ano lang niya is parang siso yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang button no? o yung kanyang, um, yung kanyang mechanism. No? So, when press, so it means one side of the switch is raised while the other side is depressed. So, much like a rocking horse or the tracks back and forth. A rocker switch, we have a circle for on, on one end, and a horizontal dash or line for off. On the other, to let the user, okay, to let the user know if the device is on or off. Now, rocker switches are used in surge protector. Uh, surge protector, something Display monitors, computer power supplies, and many other devices and application. Then we have slider switch, no? Okay, so a slider switch is an on-off switch that slides rather than trips, no? It is commonly used in electronic rather than in building wiring, no? So, Yung sa am amplifier, no? that is usually a slider switch that uh, used to adjust the, 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 the different setting of our um, speaker. No? Okay, so types of switch according to operation. So, apat yan. No? Yung mga SPST, SPDT, uh, DPST, at DPDT. So, natin yung SPST. So single pole, single throw. So that is the most common type of switch, no? Uh, isang input, isang output. So that is single pole, single throw. Single pole, double throw. So that is a simple change over switch. So may meron tayong isang input, then we have two uh, output which we can choose, no? Uh, pwede natin siyang uh, i-choose. So kunyari press uh, pag press natin, so the 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 
before it is unpressed so it is on the the other output kapag at kapag atin siyang pinis ang ang output is uh, is lilipat doon sa kabila no so that is a simple change over switch no so also uh, it is also known as SPCO or single pole change over no then you have the DPST so this uh, Basically, the double pole single through switch is just two sing single pole single through switch controlled by one mechanism. So, ito parang yung ano na yung tagel niya is nakakomon lang, no? Nakakomon sila ng dalawa. Nakapag yung isa is prenes, sasama yung isa. So, the most common example of this one is a two pole, no? A two pole circuit breaker, no? Then we have double pole double through, so equivalent of two SP. DT switch controlled by a mechanism. So, ito. So, the most common uh, the most common example for this one is the fuse MTS o yung ating manual transfer switch na ginagamit natin is fuse. No? Naka-fuse siya. So, kunyari ito yung sa supply side ga, uh, galing sa distribution. no? So, line 1, line 1. Habang ito naman kabila is sa uh, ating uh, emergency or sa ating genset, no? Ito yung ating output side or the load side. So, kapag nag-change over yan, so, nangyari ng brand out, so, lahat na yan ay pupunta dito sa ating uh, genset side, no? Okay. So, we have the uh, types of switches that we are going to use when we have uh, when you are trying to control bulbs in different locations, no? Okay, so first is the most common when we are trying to control bulbs in one location, no? That is a single pole or one-way switch. So, the appearance of that switch could be a rocker or a toggle switch, no? Yung three-way switch naman, if you are going to control a bulb in two locations, no? No? So, kapag yung bulb natin is we are going to control that one in two locations, so we will use three-way switch. So, ilang three-way switch? So, we will use um, we'll use two three-way switch which is connected in series to another. No? When we say in series to another, yung kanyang traveler is naka-series lang. No? Naka-by ano naka pair na naka-connect. No? When we, when we are also trying to control a bulb no? in more than two locations, so we will use a combination of a four-way switch and two three-way switch. No? So, yung ating four-way switch is ayan, then automatic we will have a pair or dalawang three-way switch. No? Kung nyari, three, three, three locations, automatic one four-way, dalawang three-way. Kapag five locations, no? So, five locations. So, automatic yan. Meron tayong dalawang three-way because three-way must always come in pair. No? Dalawang three-way. So, yung natira. So, meron na tayong natira na dalawa na tatlo pang location. So, yung tatlo na natira, those will be four-way. No? Four-way switches. Kunyari, 100 locations. Isang bad. I, uh, uh, pwede natin i-control no? pwede natin uh, i-on off in 100 locations so automatic yung dalawa dyan is 3 way habang yung 98 na natitira are all 4 way so ganun ang kadali yung uh, single pole 3 way at 4 way okay Okay, now we will go to electrical connect electrical tools no electrical tools na tayo okay pin ko muna dito yung ano yung presentation for electrical tools yan
Okay, so we have uh, electrical tools and testing equipment. So first, we will define ano yung electrical tool. So an electrical tool is a device that can be produced to use to produce an item or accomplish a task. But the item no, is not consumed in the process. So, ibig sabihin, pagkatapos natin gamitin yung tool, nang doon pa rin yung tool. Hindi siya naubos. Then we have hand tools. Hand tools are tools manipulated by hands, no? So, without using electrical energy. So, ito yung isang type ng electrical tools, no? Example for this one is... Example for this one is puller, hacksaw, pull push roll, pliers, hammer, and others. Okay. Then, we have machine or power tools are tools... Uh, manipulated by our hands but with the use of electrical energy no example for this one are electric drills grinding wheels vacuum cleaner and others no? the next type is a pneumatic tool no? a pneumatic tool are tools or instrument activated by air pressure no pneumatic tools are designed around the three basic devices no so that will be the air cylinder, the vane motor, and the sprayer. The hydraulic tool naman are instrument activated by fluid pressure. So example of that is the hydraulic jack and the hydraulic bender. Okay, we have the common electrical tools. So common electrical hand tools. So the, the first one is a screwdriver. So, these are tools made of steel, hardened, tempered at the tip, which is used to um, loosen or tighten screws with slatted heads. Phillips screwdriver, no? so uh, types natin ng screwdriver, we have four. So, first we have the standard flat screwdriver. So, yung flat, no? o yung tip niya is flat no naka wedge no so these are used to um these are used to drive screws with single slot head kapag plus naman yung kanyang head ng ating screw we will use the Phillips screwdriver no also known as the star screwdriver no so yung head nito is also shaped like a plus sign or cross stubby screwdriver it could be standard or Phillips screwdriver with short shank no uh, yung kanyang ano shank is um, ikli lang no used to turn screws in tight spaces where standard screwdriver cannot be used allen screw or allen wrench so this could be in the shape of a screwdriver or a wrench so its function is to drive screw with hexagonal slot head so kapag yung kanyang uh, head is hexagonal so we will use a uh, Allen screwdriver or Allen wrench. Next, we have hammer. So, hammer, these are tools used in driving or pounding and pulling out of nails. So, they are made of hard steel, wood, plastic, or rubber. So, the first type of hammer is the claw hammer. So, they are used for woodworking, prying, finishing, framing, splitting and small demolition so the claw end is used for prying or splitting so we say prying for uh, yung ating uh, uh, tinatry natin na mag-separate no yung dalawang uh, wood no then yung kaniyang ano round head is used for driving nails then we have ball pin hammer so was uh, this is uh, designed for shaping metals no by hammering so one end uh, one end of the head is ball shaped for this purpose the other hand is flat no uh, which is usually used for driving nails no so it is used for metal working uh, round rounding edges and punching and riveting then we have dead blow hammer so this hammer are designed to strike surface with great force a dead blow means they won't rebound after striking so these are usually used for automotive applications seating joints and installing floorboards 
Then engineering and drilling hammers, no? so the heavy head of a hand drilling hammer is used to drive chisels and punches. So these uh, hammers are best for driving, punching and and chiseling and shaping and forging of metal. Then we have mallet. No, mallet is a block uh, is a block on a handle which is usually used for driving chisels so these are used for um, uh, shipping metal no? because they, they are used usually to uh, to give impact marks no maglagay ng impact marks sa ating uh, sa ating sa ating mga metal piece or sa ating ginagawa na mga ano na uh, woodwork or metal works then fitting wooden parts and plaster board Okay, so we have chipping hammer. So this is usually used in welding. So are great for uh, breaking concrete. Welding and riveting hammers can help remove slugs from welds. So kaya pwede siya sa mining, manufacturing, uh, construction, and welding. Then sledge hammer. So hammers uh, that are larger than most hammers feature a metal. Uh, mallet like head no so they are used for breaking stone driving stakes and the most common use for stage hammer is demolition then we have soft face split head hammers so hammers with inter inter interchangeable heads no used for projects that require force without make marking the surface no so they are usually used in machining metal forming and crafting then next after hammers we will go to pliers no so the most common types of pliers used by um, an electrical practitioner is we have the combination pliers or the landman pliers or the all-purpose pliers no this is used for gripping holding and cutting electrical wires and cables and even pulling small nails no? so they are usually used by lineman in doing heavy tasks then side cutting pliers so this type of pliers is used for cutting fine medium big wires and cables then you have the long nose pliers so they are used for cutting and holding fine wires and also for reaching wires in tight spaces you know, yung hindi kaya na ma-reach ng ating combination pliers and also in making terminal loops on our copper wires then we have wire splicers or wire strippers. So tool used for removing insulation of medium sized wires ranging from gauge number 10 no, to gauge 16. The efficient knife is used by lineman to remove insulation of wire and cables in low and high voltage transmission lines. Then hacksaw, this tool is used to cut metal conduit and armored cable. Then hump hand pipe bender so it is used to bend pipes pipes no from one fourth inch to one inch in size then torque range no so torque range uh, we use the torque range kung gusto nating precise yung ating torque no para ano para mag um, higpit ng ating nut ang bolt kasi we have the so called maintenance free nut and bolt na kapag sobrahan natin yung ating ano yung ating uh, torque so nangyayari is and sisira yung ating bolt so that's why we use a torque range to give the precise na required na torque na, ka, na, ano, na kailangan ng ating nut or bolt then a knockout puncher so for example uh, nagkulang ng butas yung ating panel board so it was the knockout puncher also known as a greenlee punch chassis punch panel punch no? it is used to punch a hole through a metal sheet then we have Ranges, no ranges. So ranges is usually used to turn nuts, bolts, caps, screws, plugs, and various threaded parts. So we have three uh, most common. No, so open end. So yung kanyang end is open. No, so it has a. Uh, so what these are widely used and are made up with openings at fifteen degree angle. No, tapos yung box range naman so round. No, ano. Uh, it is made of oh, it can be made long and short patterns with double offset and 15 angle offset no so 12 point hicks 
third point hicks and square openings are available in regular and heavy duty patterns then we have combination box end and open end range no? so this is basically yung kabila niya na end is a box range ang kabila naman is an open end range which is also come in different sizes no? so when we say sizes ng range yung laki ng kanyang kayang ma ano mahigpit or kaya maluwagan na bolt no yung head ng ating uh, bolt then adjustable range so if if hindi natin alam kung ano yung size ng ating bolt then sometimes we will use the adjustable range no so because we could adjust the the uh, range head no so it could be from 4 to 24 inches yung kanyang laki then torque range so torque tapos na kanina so this is to apply a specific torque plumb bob or plummet so this is used for us to uh, to ensure that our um, installation especially yung ating ano yung ating mga uh, devices that needs a vertical reference line so ito yung ginagamit natin plumb bob or plummet so prick punch is to give are to make marking no out of some points in a material to be punched or to be drilled no so yung ginagamit natin is yung prick punch para kunyari yung drill so para yung ano natin yung yung bit natin is hindi siya uh, para, hi, hindi siya dudulas sa ating concrete or sa ating metal surface so la ang gagamitin natin is we, is, is we will create a mark no using our prick punch then we have file, no? so a file is a metal working, wood working, and plastic working tool used to cut fine amounts of material from a work a workpiece, no? So file called G cell, so it is used to chip no? concrete, no? Yung called G cell natin. Then C, C frame pipe cutter, no? It is used to cut pipes, no? So metal pipes, either that pipe is a a rigid metallic conduit or a intermediate no drop head ratchet treader so from the word is a treader so it is used to thread pipes or to create a thread on the end of our pipes no then hickey so it is uh, used to uh, make offset bends no Then we have reamer, so used to cut away the rough edges of the pipe after being cut. So, kapag nag, ano tayo, nag-cut tayo ng pipe, yung kanyang edge niyan is medyo matalas. So, we will use a reamer to uh, cut away the rough edges. Then, vice grip wrench used to lock objects and grip it. Ne? Then, pipe, pipe wrench, so this is used to grip pipes only, no? Machinist vice are designed to withstand strain in real work and are sim and similar applications. So if we are going to, uh, if we want to make our um, angle bar, our flat bar, or our, our, or uh, any other um, metal bars, na gusto natin siyang ikat and gusto natin na naka ano siya naka stay in place. So we will put that one in a machinist vise. Kapag pipe naman, ilalagay natin siya sa pipe vise. No? So that we could cut uh, fully our pipes. Puller is used for pulling out gears, bearings, or bushings. At yung heat gun natin, this is used to emit a stream of hot air which is used for usually used for bending of non-metallic conduits. Okay. Common power tools. So, we have portable electric drill. So, yung kanyang chuck capacity is 1 fourth inch to 3 8. So, it is used for making holes on metals and concrete walls and also as a as a uh, screwdriver. No? Kapag pinalitan natin yung kanyang bit with a screw head, no? so, pwede siya gamitin as a electric screwdriver. No? Electric drill has an electric motor that drives a chuck. So the chuck has jaw that can be opened and then closed to grip a drill kit. No? So yung, yung electric drill uh, 
they are corded. So, ibig sabihin, meron silang cord. No? Kailangan natin silang isaksak. Habang yung, yung, yung portable naman is meron siyang battery. No? Then, we have grinding tool or grinder can be either bench, mounted, or installed on a pedestal. You may either have a grinding wheel, view wheel, or two grinding wheels. Then, we have jigsaw. So, a jigsaw is a saw with fine teeth and a narrow blade which can cut curves in wood. So, if we are going to cut fine cut at, uh, fine cuts no, sa ating, uh, sa ating uh, woodwork, no? especially if we are going to insert um, insert uh, some devices, so, ang gagamitin rin is a jigsaw. Power hacksaw, a power tool with a blade that is put under tension for cutting metal na, na, gu, na gumagalaw siya in a cutting motion using electricity no yung mayroon siyang motor na nag uh, ano doon sa ating um, uh, blade in a cutting motion common pneumatic tools we have the vacuum cleaner so used for cleaning floor and car interiors pneumatic torque wrench so uh, the wrench is uses compressed air to quickly and powerful powerfully turn nuts bolts and other objects then air chisel no so, use the reciprocating motion to drive a cutting hammering tool. No? Then, uh, air racket use, use, uses the socket and attachment from a standard socket set. Then, drilling bits. So, we have the different types of drilling bits. So, yung ating drilling bit is used to make hole of accurate size. Now, a power handle is uh, one of the various tools to power the bit. No? First, we have the twist bit. So, the most common uh, drilling tool. Then, um, we have two types of uh, drill twist bits. So, we have the HSS, which is the high-speed steel. So, this is suitable for drilling types of material. When, uh, when drilling metal, the, the HSS stands, for, stands up to a high temperature. No? So, this is usually used to drill to drill on metal. The carbon steel naman are used for drilling wood and should not be used for drilling metals because they tend to be more brittle, less feasible, and they cannot withstand higher temperature. Masonry bit, of course, for concrete, no? concrete and stone blocks. Spore point, so they are used on timbers. No? Tile bit is for tiles. Then flat wood bit, no? so this is to create center uh, point no on our uh, wood no in hole saw these are usually used in making uh, holes for door knobs no then Fortzner bit no so used for to form hole with a flat bottom no such as kitchen cupboards and hinges then wood ogre bit so these are usually used with drilling large diameter deep holes in wood or thick man-made boards no then we have type of measuring instrument, no? So what are the different types of measuring instruments? So these are the 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 general classification of measuring instrument. So we have the indicating instrument, which is the device that indicate direct the directly the value of the quantity being measured on the scale. Then we have integrating instrument, so it combines two or more electrical quantities and the and registered it as a single equivalent unit. So, example of this one is the watt meter. Then, the recording instrument, device that give a record of the variations of electrical quantity being measured over a period of time. So, an example of this one is the kilowatt hour meter. An example naman ng indicating instrument is the ammeter, the voltmeter, or uh, the most common is the multi-tester. No? Okay. Okay, so now we will go to our practice test, no? So kayo naman ngayon yung sasagot. So tinamatay na apin magtong practice test dito. Okay. Yan. Okay, so if 
So to give your answer on our practice test, so ang gawin nyo lang is to write your answer on our chat box. No? Okay? Okay, first question. So we have in order to improve, no? So ito tapos na yata to sa previous natin na topic. Saan ba yung ano ito bago dito? Tapin natin. Yung tungkol sa ano. Ito. Okay, nine. Ito. So a device, tingnan ko five. Okay, so okay wala. So this is a device for making break the connection in a circuit under load no so what is the name of the device a device for making breaking connection in a circuit under load no? so anong tawag sa device na ito okay so the correct answer no madali lang to no correct answer is letter b so it is called a switch no next a fluorescent lamp that blink on or off repeatedly may in time blank cause the fuse to blow cause the fuse to wear out cause the wire to melt or result in the damage to the ballast no so ano yung sagot niyo okay so my nag ano na lang letter d no Okay, so the correct answer for this one is, no, tama, no? the answer for this one is letter D. Result in the damage of the ballast. Kasi ang nangyayari is nagpa-fluctuate yung voltage natin at current. Tapos yung voltage natin is, ay yung ballast natin is uh, sensitive. No? Sensitive siya to uh, changes in the voltage and the current. No? Maaring, maaring masunog yung ating ballast. No? Okay. Ito. So this is uh, all about light, no? The change in direction, takan ko muna siguro to. Okay, yan. The change in direction of light as it's passing from one area to another of different density or of different materials. Okay, so anong tawag dito? So ngayari when a material passes from one, uh, if a light passes from one material to another, yung light natin is nagbibend. So, it, this also sometimes called as the bending of light. So, ang tamang sagot nito is letter B, refraction. No? Next, single pole, single throw can control one circuit, uh, two circuit but not at the same time, two circuit at the same time, more than two circuit. Okay. So, ano yung kayang makontrol ng ating single pole, single true switch? Okay. So, the correct answer for this one is letter A. No? Isang circuit lang yung kayang i-control ng ating single pole, single true. Okay. Incandescent light bulbs when operated at a voltage less than the rated voltage where normally result in blank more light more current shorter bulb life or longer bulb life okay so the correct answer for this one is letter d no mas mahaba yung kanyang bulb life no kunyari the rating niya is only 230 volts yung rate 240 volts yung rated niya na voltage no tapos ang ginawa natin is ah uh, sinuplayan natin siya ng 120 volts so mayyari yung kanyang life hours o kanyang life span ay magiging times 2 although yung magigive up niya na ano na light is all, is also 50% uh, less no so ang yari kasi niyan kasi mas maliit yung ano natin voltahin natin so kukontinue yung current na dumadaan sa ating uh, tungsten filament no kasi 
every time that we are using the incandescent lamp, ginagawa natin is biniborn natin yung ano, yung tungsten filament. So, uh, the kung kung gaano kabilis natin i-burn yung ating ano, yung ating tungsten filament will depend on the current flowing on the bulb. So, if mas mababa yung ating ko, yung ating ano, yung ating voltage, no? Tayon uh, tapos ano lang yung ating resistance uh, constant lang no using ohms law so may sabihin nun is mas kukunti yung current na dumadaan sa ating lamp okay next so double pole double throw letter will be used to identify a blank so ano yung uh, kadalasan nating ina associate pag double pole double throw Okay, so the correct answer for this one is letter D, switch. Okay, next, for better illumination, you would use blank, random spacing of light, evenly spaced lights at higher ceilings, even spacing, numerous lights, or cluster lights. So, para mas okay yung kanyang ano, yung... Um, Uh, yung liwanag you know, sa ating ano, uh, lugar or sa ating room. Ano yung gagawin natin? Uh, so, paano yung arrangement kung, ng ating mga ilaw? So, the correct answer is letter C. You know? Even spacing, tapos damihan natin konti ng lights. Next. How many four-way switches are required to switch a light from three places so ilan so three places or three location so ilang four way switch ang gagamitin natin okay so the correct answer for this one is letter a no ang tanong ilang ilang three way no ilang three way ang gagamitin natin kapag three locations so yung three way natin gagamit tayo ng dalawang three way no? na ating i easy series no? sa ating isang four way so ito may na tayong three locations no? okay next When three light bulbs are wired in a single fixtures, they are connected in blank. No? So, ano yung connection niya kapag ang isang, may tatlong bulb na napasama sa isa na nag-combine in a single fixture. So, is it connected in parallel, in series, series parallel, or all of these? Okay, so the correct answer for this one is in parallel, no? To utilize kung gaano kung yung maximum output ng ating ilaw, we will connect that one in parallel even if that is including in a single fixture, no? That is for maximize. If we if we use only the light for accent lighting especially sa mga chandelier so that so that will be a combination of series parallel but the problem is just single fixture so ibig sabihin nun ang gamit ng single fixture is for maximizing of light so kaya ang gagamitin natin is connect natin sila as parallel okay next a light bulb usually contains blank air neon water Uh, either a vacuum or gas. Okay, so the correct answer for this one is letter D. Either vacuum or glass, gas. Okay. An outlet where one or more receptacle are installed is called a blank. So, ano ang tawag sa outlet na ini-install natin in one or more receptacles? Okay, 
Okay, so ang tawag dyan is multi-outlet assembly. Okay. Next, a unit of an electrical system which is intended to carry but not utilize energy is a blank. So, anong tawag? Ano ang general term no? for a uh, unit or a uh, item in an electrical system na ginagawa lang is to carry the uh, current but not you but not utilize or hindi ginagamit yung current okay the correct answer for this one is letter a device no example of a device is a switch no so yung switch hindi niya ginagamit yung current but its only purpose is to carry current either directly or stop the current kapag in off natin. So, ang correct answer is device. Next, with a given voltage, 6 bulb will consume the most wattage when connected in blank. So, 3 in series and 3 in parallel, 4 in parallel and 2 in series, all in parallel all in series. Okay, so wala ba yung screen? Parang okay na yung screen ko dito. Okay, so when you are connecting a bulb no, with the same voltage, so okay, tingnan ko muna ha. So, the answer is letter C. All in parallel. Okay, next. Okay. So, if a light bulb rated at 100 watts at 120 is connected no, across a source of uh, a source, no, uh, across a 240 volt source, the, the source or the wattage would be blank, no? So, if the light bulb rated 100 watts at 120 volts is connected across a source of which the wattage would be yung source that is 240 volts. So, ano yung ating wattage? No? Um, the correct answer for this one is uh, wala dito sa choices yung answer because um, practically, if we are going to connect a 120 volt bulb no to connect natin yung 120 volt bulb sa 214 volt na source ano mangyayari doon sa bugyon no because the rated voltage of our bulb is 120 then we are going to connect that one at 240 no but let's assume that this is not the correct wattage or this is the not the rated wattage hindi to yung rated rating na wattage ng ating bulb no para ma-solve natin ito but in practically kapag ito yung rated na voltage niya automatic hindi yan gagana sa sabog yan no so first we will get the resistance no resistance ng ating bulb no using this one so because the the resistance no matter what happen sa ating voltage source or ating current the resistance will be the same so, solving for the resistance, kunin mo natin yung I, no? So, that is P over V. So, we have 100 watts over 120 volts, no? So, we have 100 divide 120. So, this will be equal to 5 over 6. So, gamitin na natin yung 5 uh, fraction, no? 5 over 6 amperes. Then, uh, solving for R, so that is 100, ano, 120 pala. 120 volts over 
5 over 6. Okay, so, meron tayong 120 divide 5 over 6. Okay, so this will be equal to 100, 144 ohms, no? So, using the formula for power, so power is equals to V times I, no? So, yung ating V, gagawin natin tong in terms of, ay, yung ating I, gagawin natin tong in terms of resistance. So, that will be equal to V times V times R, R no? So, we'll have V squared times R. So, yung ating voltage is um, 240, no? Squared times resistance of 144 ohms. Okay, so the power is equal to 240 squared times 144. Okay. So, ito, hindi pala ito, ano? Hindi pala ito times but over. No? Over yan. Okay. Divide, no? Okay. Nangyari sa account nyo po. So, nawala ba ulit yung ano? Screen? Okay, so okay, so I hope okay na no. So if you nakikita niyo sa screen niyo is ano na may p equal so yan na yung ano live screen no. So we have 240 squared over 144. Okay. So 240 squared divide 144. So, equal yan to 400 watts. So, the correct answer is letter D, no? 400 watts. Okay, so, I believe this will be the last, no? A lamp having a candle power of 100 candelas is hung 10 feet directly above a working table. So, what is the intensity of illumination of a point on the table no so yung ating bag meron siyang ano uh, 100 feet no okay so solution so if nagstop yung screen so don't worry sa ating recording so makikita niyo naman to no okay so we just finish this last problem no so, the intensity of illumination is equal to our um, the candle power over the uh, d squared times our cosine theta. When we say directly above, no? directly above, so yung ating angle niyan is equal to 0, no? 0 degrees. No? So, yung cosine 0 natin, no? cosine 0 degrees. So, that is equal to 1. So, yung formula natin is magiging I over D squared lang. No? So, yung I natin, 100, candela. Yung ating distance, that is our D, is 10 feet. So, that is um, 100 divided by 10 squared or 100 over 
100 which is equal to 1 foot candle. So, kaya foot candle yung unit natin kasi yung ating distance is in feet. No? So, the correct answer is letter A. No? Okay? So, I believe that will be all for our discussion this evening. No? So, since na, hindi ko alam kung bakit nag-stop din yung screen sa Google Meet. No? So, okay naman yung signal. No? So, don't worry. Yung recording nito is uh, kompleto naman, no? yung recording from start to finish. No? Okay? So, I believe that we will go up with this evening. So, if you have questions, no? so, pwede doon na lang sa ano natin, group chat na lang natin isa yung mga questions natin. No? Okay? So, I hope you learned something for this evening. Sa atin naman website is uh, mayroon natin yung mga questions doon. No? So, marami din practice test na doon sa ating website. So, nasa ano na, 7 practice test. So, the latest is about um, AC circuit, no? AC circuit. So, I hope you will have time to answer those questions, no? Up to practice test 7, no? So, maybe this week, no? Later this week, Friday or uh, Saturday, I will post a uh, practice uh, test 8 all about electrical materials and tools, including electrical conductors, no? So, I hope you find time to answer no so, kasi kung madami-dami yung ano na na practice niyo na mga questions so uh, you will have uh, you will have um magkaroon kayo ng idea no maybe yung iba doon is babalik sa exam or iniba lang yung konti yung ano yung question at least you will have an idea on how to answer how to solve those